so I got this uh, for the Mustang for Christmas from Angel. Uh, usually there's a Fox body Mustangs have an ashtray door here. It's always broken, so it always stays open or the hinges are broke and it flops around. And there's also no cup holders in a Fox body Mustang. So LMR makes this. It only comes in this color, I think. I don't know. Not sure, but they don't sell it in the correct gray. So they sell this paint. Um, and when I originally opened this paint, I was like, ah, oh, it's the same color as the console. It's not gonna match, I'm gonna have to tint it. So I got some, went through my cabinet and got some black and some white. I was gonna tint it around. I got a piece of the car from the center console, a bolt cover. You can see that that doesn't match. But this this paint is actually not that bad. I don't know why I thought it didn't match. If you look here, I mean, for this, it'll probably be good enough. So I think I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna mask this boot off. I think. Um, yeah. Probably just gonna mask that off. Get these out of here, scuff this up, and we'll shoot some uh, an adhesion promoter on it, and we'll paint it. That's dumb. They either need to ship these apart, and so you can put that piece in, or have a better way of holding it on versus these little <clears throat> clips that are gonna break the tabs. I tried taking one off just to see. I don't really want to break all those. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty dumb to try to mask that off. So anyway, I'm going to lightly scuff this with some scotch Bright and then clean it. And then some... Also, I mean, could they made this a little bigger and it had a rubber insert that went in there? Because, you know, that's going to wear out a bit. Setting cans in there. You're going to wear through the paint. This is just basically Bulldog, uh, some crappy brand that this, a guy that drives by in a van at work sells. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, the LMC paint kit comes with this, one of these Prevail sprayers, you know, so if you don't have a paint gun. So I'm just going to use it. I put some of this in there, and I will spray it on here. This thing, uh working extra tasty. Do a light coat first. I tried using this sprayer with something else. I don't remember what it was, but it, it was too thick and it clogged it up, so that's why it's uh, not spraying very good. I do have another it does come with a refill for it. Um, so anyway, we'll just get this, get some drips on there. With those, you can just move them around with your finger. And then uh, give it another coat. Wow, this thing is awesome. It's probably running out of, it's because I don't have it full enough and I tilt it, it's getting air in it. Amateurs, I tell ya. As you can see, we got some more big drips there, so that's how you take care of those. And then let this dry for however long you feel like. I'm almost felt like it's already been long enough. And then we'll put some paint in this same thing and we'll paint it with this. 
Yep, I think that's good. I might give this a quick coat of heat gun. I don't know what I'm filming. This is awesome. Hmm, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, who's tired of watching this? I am. Let me just make sure I get this edge real good so when I snap it into place, it doesn't just chip the paint off. Okay, got enough glue on there. Let me load the paint up on this and this. I'll be back. All right, hit it with the heat gun. Got some paint in this and all over the hood of this. And uh, let's see what happens here. Right now is when I'm realizing I should just put this in a paint gun. So let's keep going and see what happens. Well, see, it's not spitting because of that. It's it's full now. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Just to give it a little dusting. The car and then this piece put on pretty wet. Oh man, turbo really kicked in. See those turbo cans everyone's talking about? It's really darkening up. Whoa, you <laughs> see this thing? <laughs> these things, don't ever buy these. I mean, is it better than nothing? Maybe. I don't know. I really need to get my camera out here instead of using my phone. That is really coming out nice. Especially like the super power blast that these things give you. Like that. It sounds pretty awesome. All right, let's uh, dry this up and then we'll uh, hold our little cover piece up to it and see how good it matches. I don't really know what kind of paint this is that they sell you. Um, there is, most paint lines have a additive to convert them into an interior paint. Um, really doubtful that that's what they did with that stuff, whatever it is. It's probably just some base coat. But I don't know how it's going to hold up. We will see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Aside from the bottom of the cup holders. Kind of chunky down there. Well, there's a couple brewskis in there you won't notice. Whoa. Better make that a double brewski.
I've really ruined my Moon Eyes stool. I mean, it's... I don't know what happened. It just started deteriorating. Come back over here. Grab our piece. Set it up next to this. Try it over here. Try it right here. Try it like that. Try it like that. Try it in here. Try it right here. You can see it's not yet a match. But if you look from back here at this angle, you can't even tell, so it'll probably be fine. Eh. Good enough. So, uh, anyway, I'll show you what this looks like when I get it uh, installed again. Again, this never been installed in the first place. When I get it installed. Fine. Well, there that is. I gave it another coat, and as suspected, you can see it really brought that color around. I mean, it is practically a perfect match now. It better be, because what I did is I sprayed this with the paint, too. So now, oh yeah, perfect match. I forgot what a pain in the ass is, so it's not that bad, but it's pretty stupid. You have to pull four eight millimeter bolts out to take this off. Just to get these two stupid screws. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Oh, that's what I did. Uh, so you can see I got the side view mirror switch in. I dripped some water all over this because I have no headliner and the condensation beads up and then it drips down. I gotta pull the windshield out to get a headliner in this because of the roll cage. That's another story. Actually, I pretty much just told you the story. But it's cool that they give you a factory plug in on the, these so that just plugs right in. And, uh, what is going on? Anyway, I'm not sure what's happening here. All right, it's in. As you can see, the color doesn't match. Also, <laughs> whoa. Also, this thing doesn't really fit that good. But uh, she's in there, and that's... That's the color we got. We got this boot now, which we didn't have before, so that's pretty fancy. And I do have one trick I can do for the, the color, so make it not so noticeable of a difference. I mean, can you see now? Can't tell now. Yep, so that'll be perfect. <laughs> 